Hello guys, and welcome to another episode of The Talking Hat. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to install the BeamNG Tech Demo. I'm going to be actually doing some playing of the game, as well as some playing of Rigs of Rods, which as you know, I showcased last week, but it was being slow because I'm running in VMware Fusion. Therefore I'm able to run with my Mac screen recorder, but I have yet to find one for Windows 7 that I can use in Boot Camp. However, right now, I'm going to show you how to download and begin using the tech demo. My showcase next episode, or in a couple episodes, will be on actually using the full version. But no matter, first we're going to go to beamng.com. Then we click beamng.drive, that's what the alpha, the name of the alpha version. We're going to click download the free tech demo, and that's going to start up. I'm going to click cancel because I already downloaded that. So here we go. We're going to, uh, did it, alright, set up, there it is. When it opens, this will come up. You you will click install. There might be a little thing that asks you whether you want to run the installation or not. Uh, just click yes and uncheck the always ask before opening this f file because otherwise it'll just keep doing that message and it's not necessary. So we're just going to wait for it to install. The tech demo is a pretty straightforward installation. It just has to install. Once that bar is done, it's going to bring you to this page. If you want to see a tutorial which goes really in depth, it's a wiki link. You can check that, but I just leave it unchecked. But keep launch now checked. As you can see, it creates a, a link on the desktop. We click finish, and there it goes. It is opening up. Now, for today, it's probably going to be really slow, just as it was with Rigs of Rods, because, again, it, the computer was kind of overloaded, but with the screen recorder, everything was being recorded, and it's running on 50% of the computer's power. So, don't expect any good gameplay from this. I intend to do everything... Uh, everything gameplay in the review that I do when I have a Windows 7 screensaver, probably sometime next week or in the near future. Now, you click play. You're going to want to change the options to lower down because it's a very graphics intensive app. It really hasn't been optimized for anything less than, at the very least, dual core 4 gigabytes of RAM dedicated graphics card. Um, it, it said that you shouldn't use an integrated graphics card, but I have one and it seems to work fine. Alright, so as you can see, driving along here, the uh, physics for, as you can see, driving over bumps, it's very realistic. Um, pardon if it looks really ugly and not realistic. Because that's because I've turned down all the texture settings. If you use this on a dedicated PC or a gaming PC, it would work really well. I'm using this on a laptop, so obviously it's not going to be too great anyway. But you can run it on a laptop. Now, as you can see, the physics are extremely realistic. For some odd reason, you have to hold down the uh, brake key to reverse, which doesn't seem to be working. I I, I broke the transmission or something because those those things can actually come off. Control E to choose vehicle. Control W, you can choose parts like say where's the hood? There it is, empty. Then it'll respawn a vehicle with no hood. Now you can you can save that or do whatever you want, but you can add and remove parts, as you can see. 
Um, now, this is only in the tech demo where you get only this map and only this car. There are several different versions of this car, but they all look essentially the same. Uh, although they are very different in the tech demo. There is a way to download cars for this game, but it is kind of confusing and I'm not sure 100% how to do it. It took took a really long time. Although there are tutorials online or on in the wiki link how to do it, but it's really not worth it. There's only one car that's been modded. Uh, it's an, a Cadillac, 1940s Cadillac, which it's only one car, so I might do one on how to do that when there's more cars for people to download. But for right now, that's pretty much the basics on getting you started with BeamNG Sandbox Tech Demo. Uh, soon there will be gameplay review of Rigs of Rods and the full version of BeamNG. Um, so that's it for today. Stay tuned for more from the Talking Hat and subscribe for more videos. Thanks.